just my adapter. I had an adapter here for the computer. Did you use it? Oh. There you go. You're on. Uh, today are we going to fix a CF30 that have possible to have a bad USB port. Again, this is Marissa with Bob Johnson's computer stuff. And we're going to be repairing a CF30 that have a bad USB port. But before we replace the part, we're going to test to make sure that that's the problem. I just need to get my AC adapter here. Let somebody borrow it and put it back. There it is. Let's turn on the unit and test the USB port. We're just going to use a regular flash drive to test the port. Just waiting for the laptop to turn on so I can get to the USB port. They have Windows 7 installed. If, they, they, if it is a bad USB port, this is the part that we're going to be using to replace it. You can find this on our website. And the part number is DFUP1540XA. In parentheses, you're going to find the number 6. USB. The sound is working. Just getting ready to test the port. It found the flash drive. found the drive but it's not loading the file so let me test that it's two more in the back the side one is bad and the other two ports are in the back of the unit as you can see right here okay, pick up the drive this one load the file so definitely have two ports bad here. The side port's bad and one of the back. So we're going to replace it. And now we're going to start by turning the computer off. And we're going to, as usual, remove the battery. Remove all power from it. And we had to remove all the screws from this base. I'm going to use Phillips head screwdriver. I think this is a number one, not sure. And then for the smallest one is the double zero. Make sure that you keep tabs where you put your screws because you don't want to lose one of them. For me here is not a big deal because we have a bucket full of screws for these computers. But if you're doing this at home, you may end up misplacing one. 
in case you do, we also sell the screws. You can find them on our website. Just in case you don't know our website address, that's bobjohnson.com. We made really hard for you to remember it. So, again, that's bobjohnson.com. Okay, I think they're all removed. Use a flathead screwdriver now, it can be that, or if you don't have a flathead screwdriver, you can use a butter knife. And you want to just lift in one corner. And there is the port that we need to replace. There's our USB, here's where plug it in. If you don't know, your hard drive is right here, your meter drive is right there, and if you need to ever replace the CMOS battery, it's going to be underneath these ribbons. This is the inside of your CF30. That is one screw right here. You can use your small Phillips head screwdriver. Remove this one. See? Just a little one. Then you can unplug the cable. Sometimes you're gonna have this a little stuck in here, just again with your flathead screwdriver, just lift it up. And that's the part that we're going to replace. Have the replacement right here. Don't mix them up because they need to know which one's gonna work. And again, I'm not gonna replace the cable because I don't think the cable is bad. But again, if you need a cable, we have for sale on our website, bobjohnson.com. So we're just going to reverse the process and fit the part in, connect the cable, and put the little screw back in here. Although there is two spots here, this spot's here, goes through the case. Okay. We replaced that, now I'm going to test it again to make sure that this USB part is working. So, I'm just going to put the case back because you have your, um, forgot the name of this, but it's um, for your CPU. I'm going to just put one screw right in the middle here to hold the bottom case in. And now, we're going to test the port that we just replaced. The part that we just replaced. Turn the laptop back on. And we wait. And the apply part that we replaced is a USB port. There is three of them. They all come together, so if your one is bad, you have to replace all three. But it's easy to replace, like you see, just one screw. And it's not that hard to do it. Just waiting for the computer to turn back on. I'm going to use a flash drive again and test the ports. Okay, we 
actually having the same problem. I replaced the part and still doesn't see, so may not be the USB um, ports, may be the cable. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to replace that cable. Yeah. I have it. But I I think I spoke too soon. Here we go. I got the file open and the side USB port is working. So now let's test the back ones. Remove. Eject. This. And we're going to test the two back ports. You open the file. Yes. To eject the drive, you just click on your hidden icons and right click on your flash drive and eject. Now you save to remove. Remove from this board. And we will test the third port. Okay. Let me pick it up. And as you can see, <coughs> those are my files. So this repair is done. It was an easy one. Again, let's eject the flash drive. Or the flash disk. USB drive. They have several names for the same part. Here we go. Now all that's left is uh, let's turn this computer off. And let's put all the screws back on the bottom. This repair is done. All you gotta do now is finish it up. by getting our screws back in, in place. The bigger ones goes on the out case, the two big ones in the middle. probably put this unit back in a box and send it out to the customers. They'll be very happy that uh, it arrived here this morning and is going back out this afternoon. on the side here is going to finish holding USB port. It's inside. If you have any questions about this repair or if you need help with any of your repairs, you can email us at tech underscore support at bobjohnson.com to my attention Marissa or Matt and we can help you with any repair if we don't have a video we can request us to make you a video for the repair if we don't have the laptop well maybe we can buy one and help you with the repair but you know typically we have all the tough books in stock from the 27 a lot of people don't even know what a 27 is all the way to the 31s and 53s we also have some tablets. Check our website, really good pricings on them. That website again, just in case you forgot, because it's a very hard name to keep tabs off, bobjohnson.com. And if you go to the website bobjohnson.com and you decide to buy something, use Marissa Rocks and you get free shipping.
And I think we're done. It was good doing this repair and Marissa.